Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's Combo Breaker 99. I'm back with another post fight analysis video. All right, y'all. Poliana Bateo versus Luana Carolina. All right, y'all. Um, I felt like this was going to be a, uh, be another competitive fight here on this card. That's why, um, you know, my live stream the other day, I was like 50 50. I was leaning towards Poliana Bateo a little bit, but I really couldn't give you a solid answer here because I really felt like um, both fighters they kind of evenly match up. You know, Poliana Bateo, she has some good stand up. You know, she has some strong kicks, but I feel like she'll gas somewhere down the line you know at times and um i feel like when fighters take her to the ground and they really put that physical strength on her on the ground that's that's a bit of her weakness you know fighting off of her back you know that's that's kind of her weakness she showed that in the uh, jillian robertson fight uh luana carolina you know she has that long reach uh you know those long kicks and you know i was a little up in the air because you know i felt like she was going to be a little tentative and she was going to get backed up and that's how it kind of worked out in the first round poliana Bateo was able to put that pressure on her and back her up and she was a little bit tentative you know to let her hands go but all of a sudden that switch hit her in the second and third round man like luana carolina she just turned it up you know she stopped playing possum a little bit and then she went after the fight you know she uh, took poliana Bateo into these clinches you know she was out grappling her uh, she was uh, working her strikes, working her kicks, you know, hitting back with kicks. Not many combinations thrown. It was just really Luana Carolina taking this fight to the ground and just overall controlling and being uh, much more physical and just uh, taking the wind out of Poliana Bateo, which is another weakness I feel like Poliana Bateo has. You know, she can gas out a little bit, especially when it goes to the ground. And uh, Luana Carolina, she impressed me with this victory. You know, she was um, ducking a lot of big shots, you know, using that length to kind of like lean back. And, um, you know, kind of stepping in and out and making Poliana Bateo miss. So, yeah, she definitely earned this unanimous decision. I mean, real quick, let's go back and look at the first round. Um, Bateo, she came came right out, came came forward, you know, putting that pressure on, dictating the pace, uh, looking to land some big leg kicks. You know, she was throwing her shots with intensity, you know, and uh, I, that was another thing I was kind of thinking about. Like, maybe she was going to kind of gas out as she continued to throw these shots and miss. Uh, she landed a few good body kicks, but um, Carolina, she wasn't doing a really great deal. You know, she was mostly circling and kind of staying out of reach, just utilizing her length and making Poliana Bateo miss those wild shots. And I think that this was Carolina's plan. You know, Luana Carolina just wanted to stay on the outside, uh, kind of make her wear herself down. You know, even though Poliana was landing a few body kicks, uh, she was able to dictate that pace, like I said. And eventually she punched her way in whenever Luana Carolina wasn't throwing anything back. And then she got into a clinch. Got a big takedown, and she finished the round on top, you know, landing a few shots to the body and to the head. Uh, Carolina was really looking like a sitting duck in that first round, but the tables turned. The second round, Carolina, she started turning it on, started coming forward, letting her hands go, just meeting Poliana in the, in, the, in the center of the octagon, even backing her up. You know, she's backing her up, going in for a clinch. Uh, Poliana Bateo was trying to reverse it a few times, but Carolina, she was taking her to the fence, man. She was putting uh potatoes back to the fence landing some good knees to the body using her head to control the fight using uh, uh the fight in the um the fight on the cage and just control potato uh just doing well at wearing potato down you know carolina was able to to reverse a uh, takedown as well from potato take her down and then just when they bounced back up she controlled that clinch with more knees uh landed a actually potato landed a big knee and opened up a cut but uh, Carolina, you know, she stayed into the fight, still controlled the round, just really wearing Bateo down, even though the blood was pouring from the uh, over the eyelid. You know, she was just out wrestling, um, out wrestling Polly and Bateo. So I had to give her that round for sure, uh, Carolina, that round. Uh, the third round, Carolina, you know, she's hopping forward. You know, she's doing this little awkward hop forward and she's letting her hands go, landing a few strikes. But, you know, she's just also using that long frame to pull back and make uh, Bateo miss. Bateo, she's throwing and landing a few kicks here and there, but... Like I said, neither fighter was really landing like a series of combinations. It was really just coming down to who would land like one or two and then go right back into a clinch. And, um, you know, Carolina, again, you know, she was able to reverse another Poliana Bateo takedown, wind up on top in the guard and just really out grappled. You know, she was out grappling and getting the back and was going for the uh, rear naked choke. She didn't get it, but she just finished strong. You know, she finished on top. She finished in the most uh, the more dominant position. Uh, Poliana Bateo, like I said, started a little gas. She wasn't really able to do anything big on the ground, reverse anything. Carolina just took the fight to her, you know, um, on the ground. Uh, two to one for Car uh, Luana Carolina. You know, Carolina, she did well just wearing her down, uh, shutting down the offense for the second and third round. And she just showed more authority. You know, she switched it up on her and just showed more authority. So from here, man, I feel like Poliana Bateo, man, if she can't beat somebody like this at flyweight, she might want to get back down to 115 if she can, you know, maybe just go on that, um, 
you know, try to be really disciplined in making that weight and try to get back to 115 and try to compete there because you can't be Luana Carolina and Jillian Robertson on this level. It's going to be tough at flyweight. You know, the top 15, you know, they got some, they got some tough girls there. Tough girls. Uh, Luana Carolina, on the other hand, you know, I like her awkward style. I like to see her sit down on her shots a little bit more and be more aggressive with those kicks. You know, she's a very long fighter, 6'5", 7". You know, I like to see her throw more, like, straight jabs down the pipe, you know, those teep kicks as well. Uh, but her ground game is very um, awkward. It's very awkward and effective. It's awkward, effective. You know, she's very long, and she can get that back. She's a good grappler, you know, very good jujitsu. So, yeah, man, um, decent fight. This is a decent fight for uh, Luana Carolina, good comeback fight for her. Uh, let me know, guys, what, uh, what do y'all think? What y'all think is next for uh, Luana Carolina? Uh, what do you think Polana Bateo should do from here? 115 or 125? Combo Breaker 99. I'm out. Subscribe. Peace.